Hello and welcome to Data Research Labs. For this tutorial, we will review all the output grids, exports, reports, and scripts of the MS SQL Data Dictionary Generator. To download this free tool, follow the GitHub link in the comments below. This tutorial is going to cover all five flavors of the output of the Data Dictionary Generator. The Dictionary Viewer, which is a data grid in the screen that you can scroll through. The CSV exports that you can view in Notepad or Excel. The PDF report looks real pretty. And then also the two different script outputs, the comment script and data dictionary scripts that you can output and execute yourself in SQL Server Management Studio. We will begin the tutorial and focus on step four in the tools user interface. The default output format is the Data Dictionary Viewer or the interactive screen. It's basically a data grid that you can scroll around in. Here, let's click the job, run job, and there it is. Here's the dictionary viewer. Notice the title dictionary viewer. Notice the SQL connection information right here. Your password will never be shown. Notice the data grid here with columns that are scrollable and sizable. There we go. Notice the drop down to the column headers. You can click those and you can sort A to Z, Z to A. You can filter by unchecking or checking and clear the filters. Note that you can also right click the column headers and hide fields, unhide fields, freeze fields, unfreeze fields. Notice down here the row count, 154 rows. And notice the search box here where you can type some text in and then it'll find that. You can just keep hitting enter to jump through find the next instance of the word. Notice the two PDF button, which if I click it will print a PDF report up on screen. I'll just do it so you can see. And there it is. There's my PDF report. And likewise to Notepad would generate a CSV file and display it in Notepad. There it is. Took a little while to come up. And then to Excel is also going to generate a CSV file and just display it in Excel for me. And then of course there's a close button. Oh, and you can always right click in the upper right corner and copy, and then you could paste it into Excel or Notepad or whatever. The next output option is to CSV file, and you can select to Notepad to view it or to Excel. Both will render to a CSV file here. And if we were to demonstrate that, let's just go ahead and click run job and boom, pops up Notepad. And if I do Excel, run job, it will pop up in Excel. There it is. Notice that if I hit the X, it'll clear out the text box. If I hit the little Save button, it'll prompt me. And it defaults to the location of the ACCDE or ACCDB file, the, the Access application. Defaults to that directory, takes the database name that you're looking at, and then taxon underscore data dictionary dot CSV. So that's the default name. You can change it to whatever you want. And you click Save on that. Yeah, I'm going to replace it. I know it's already there. And that's how you use those buttons. Next up, the output to comments script. So that's our first generate SQL script. It's the comments. So a quick level set here in SQL Server Management Studio. What are comments? Well, the comments basically in the AdventureWorks database, we are looking at the address table, and there's all of the columns. Well, address ID column has a description, primary key, blah, blah, blah. Address line one has a description. Address line two has a description. All of these descriptions are the comments that we're going to be able to uh, put in a script so that you can alter them at will. So this output option, comments, will generate an update script for you to easily alter and rerun to change the descriptions in your database, assuming you have DDL permission. So let's click Run Job, and this is what the script looks like. There we go. Notice that there's an execute statement for each object, followed by go, followed by an execute, followed by go. So there's going to be an execute to create the table description, street address information for customers. It's at the table level. And then there's a bunch of column level descriptions. So it's in the table address, so table address, just like the table, but it also has a level two column and address ID. And so this whole script is built up and it's rerunnable. And you can go in and change the name, description property name. Property value is what you want to change for the table description or for the column description. So these description values are what you would be changing in the script. And you can run the whole script in SSMS, SQL Server Management Studio. Now here's an important note. 
by default, you're only going to get update, update. You're only going to get objects that already have a description. If it doesn't have a description, a table, a view, or a column name, it's not going to show up in the script. But there's a fix for that. Go back to step three. Check this box, add empty comments with fix me description. And now when you run the script, generator, it's going to generate the script. And it's not only going to have the update extended property, but if I do a find and I look for SP add, there we go. It's going to have the add extended properties. So this description table, level one, so that's the table name for uh, sales LT. That particular table has no description right now. And if we run the script, it'll get added as fix me. We don't want that. So you would actually type in here a new description that you want and then run this script and that description would get added. Now I would suggest that after you build this script up and go edit all of the uh, SP ads, run it in SQL Server Management Studio, get all of the objects commented, and then rerun this comment script. And the next time you rerun it, everything will be an SP update. At that point, you have a nice clean script. Everything is an SP update. Going forward, you'll just be using that. And then I would put that script into source control. GitHub, TFS, SVN, etc. And the final output is the data dictionary script. This is the SQL script built behind the scenes and passed through to SQL Server for execution. The results are returned and painted to whatever output format you select using access. But the key point is a single script SQL string is pushed through and passed to SQL Server where all the work is done and the results come back. Let's uh, go ahead and click the run job and see what it looks like. So here we are. There's a comment block and then you have to use whatever database and then all of the SQL that gets run to generate the results. The key point here is that the output script is the black box magic behind the scenes. You simply output the script, then take it and use it wherever and however you want. Maybe you want to automate the script to run weekly and email your team so that you always have a, the latest data dictionary grid available. Maybe you automate it to run daily and write some code to compare it against yesterday's output CSV looking for schema changes. Do whatever you want or need to do with the SQL script. Give it a whirl. Run the job. Copy and paste the whole thing into SQL Server Management Studio and execute it there. And you should get the same results as what the tool gets. Here I've highlighted and copied it. Opened up SQL Server Management Studio to the AdventureWorks database. Have an empty query grid. Paste in the results and execute. And I should get the data grid results. And there they are. Same thing that you see in the tool, but you can just run it yourself. So it's handy to be able to output and generate scripts to do what you want to do with them. Thank you for watching. And if you found this video helpful, then please smash that like button and subscribe for more related content. Also, check out our other related videos and playlists in the boxes to the left.